वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एल्बो जॉइंट एंड एज डिटरमिनेशन बाय द एल्बो जॉइंट एक्सरे द मेन मेन स्ट्रक्चर्स वी हैव टू सी दैट द एट फर्स्ट द मेडियल एपिकोंडाइल इट इज द मेडियल एपिकोंडाइल देन द लेटरल एपिकोंडाइल इट इज द लेटरल एपिकोंडाइल एंड देन द कैपिचुलम कैपिचुलम इट इज द कैपिचुलम एंड ट्रॉकलिया इट इज द ट्रॉकलिया दिस फोर स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द लोअर एंड ऑफ ह्यूमरस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एज डिटर्मिनेशन ओके इन द लेटरल व्यू इट इज द ह्यूमरस एंड lateral epicondyle it is the lateral epicondyle then the in the radius you have to see the head of the radius it is only important for the age determination and in the ulna the olecranon process in this anterior posterior view you cannot see properly but in the lateral view we can see that olecranon process process so these six structure are important for the age determination so let's see when it appears and fusion of at first the medial epicondyle medial epicondyle appears at 6 years of age and uh, and trochlea appears at 9 years of age capitulum appears 1 years of age okay then these three are fused together in the 14 to 15 years of age and this structure called conjoint epiphysis then at the 16 years of age this conjoint epiphysis is fused with the lower end of the humerus then the lateral epicondyle appears at 6 year, uh, 11 years of age and fusion occurs at 16 years of age so at the 16 years of age the conjoint epiphysis and the lateral epicondyle fused with the lower end of humerus next is the radius radius the head of the radius appears at 5 years of age and fusion occurs at 16 years of age then ulna tip of the olecranon process this tip of the olecranon process appears at 9 years of age and fusion occurs at 16 years of age so the 16 years of age at last the all the structures fused so one is important that this series is important at first the capitulum capitulum then the radial head so capitulum in the one year of age then the radial head five years of age medial epicondyle six years of age then trochlea nine years of age olecranon process nine years of age and lateral epicondyle at 11 years of age this is the sequence of appearance of this bone okay so capitulum radial head medial epicondyle trochlea olecranon process and lateral epicondyle so let's see the sub few x ray and we try to determine the edge okay so let's see this x ray this x ray the medial epicondyle it is a radius so typical radial head so this is the lateral side okay this side is the lateral side and this side is the medial side so medial epicondyle is already appeared and fused lateral epicondyle appears and fused and head of the radius appeared and fused already olecranon process already appeared and fused so all structure are appeared and fused so he or she is sure shot 16 plus okay his age is above 16 okay so ne next in this x ray let's see the at first the capitulum okay so it is the capitulum already appeared okay so he is of course one year plus then the radial head then it is it is the radius and you can see a small white line this is so radial head is already appeared so he is also five plus next is medial head medial epicondyle it is the lateral side and it is the medial side so you can see a small structure this is so this is the medial epicondyle as the medial epicondyle already appeared so he or she is 6 plus then the trochlea so the trochlea is already appeared you can see this this is the trochlea so trochlea has already appeared so he or she is 9 plus but the olecranon process the olecranon process not appeared yet okay there is no olecranon process so so the trochlea is already appeared but olecranon process has not appeared yet and of course the lateral epicondyle also not appeared so he is definitely 9 plus so his uh, lower age limit is 9 plus but what is the upper age limit let's see that the head of the radius is already appeared but not fused so he is below 16 and the capitulum 
capitulum is already appeared but not fused and there is no conjoint epiphysis so you can say that he or she is 15 below 15 okay so now you can tell that the he or she's age is 9 to 15 years between the 9 to 15 years okay next this uh, x-ray it is the head of the radius it is the head of the radius so head of the radius is there is a gap you can see there is a gap okay there is a gap so head of the radius is has already appeared but not fused so head of the radius is here so he is 5 plus then the it is the lateral side it is the medial side and the medial side is already medial epicondyle already appeared so he is 6 plus also now the trochlea trochlea already appeared so 9 plus and you can see the lateral epicondyle okay here is the lateral epicondyle so lateral epicondyle has already appeared so he is 11 plus okay so he is 11 plus by this uh, series you can say he is 11 plus and here is the olocron process already appeared okay but but you can see that medial epicondyle okay trochlea and capitulum has already fused means conjoint epiphysis has already formed and but the fusion is not ours, okay and also the tip of the olocron process has not fused so he is below 16 okay so now you can say he or she is 11 to 16 years of age now at first is the this x-ray okay in this x-ray also the head of the radius has already formed and the capitulum uh, sorry olocron process has already formed but not fused and here is the lateral epicondyle a small white structure so he is 11 plus of course so he is 11 plus and as the medial epicondyle and, and as the medial epicondyle and lateral epicondyle formed but not fused and also olocron process formed but not fused so he is below 16 so he or she is 11 to 16 years of age now this x-ray all the medial epicondyle lateral epicondyle head of the radius olocron process all has already formed and fused so he or she is 16 plus now the last x-ray in this x-ray you can see that it is the lateral side so it is the lateral epicondyle has already appeared but not fused so is obvious 11 year plus and and as the medial epicondyle has already formed but not fused so he or she is 15 below 15 so now by this x-ray you can say he or she is 11 to 15 years of age so that's all about the age determination thank you